Hello. I want to demonstrate Cardi's dynamic proxy using etcd backend. Yeah, I have a Vigor machine of a CoreOS cluster of three machines. So let's check. So I've got an etcd cluster of three machines in here. So I have four screens. The top right here. It's going to be where I'm going to be performing most of the actions. I'll display some logs in here. Then this is the second Vagrant machine, which is part of the SCD cluster. And this is the third Vagrant machine, which is also part of the SCD cluster. So inside here, I'm going to be making use of Docker Compose. So I've got my Docker Compose file in here. So something very basic to start a CADI image. Then I'm going to be using Registrator for service discovery. And um, I'm using Docker Swarm. So I have a swarm of three clusters configured already. These three CoreOS clusters registered on the Swarm. And this is the TCP address of the Swarm cluster. And um, I'm going to be using Registrator for service discovery. Then here I've got an ICADI file with a proxy configured to use at CD backend. So registrator stores in this format the service name, I think, the IP address, the port, the exposed port. So something very basic is going to be using it to and then we are logging both the errors and access to standard out. So let's get started. So let me start Cardi in there. Now watch. Decker compose up. Let's start it in the background. You can see what's happening here. Automatically, CAD is adding it. So we can have our logs permanently here. So currently, I have 10 CAD instances. I can scale it down. Let me use one for a start. As you can see, everything is being removed. It's dynamic and it's using registrator for service discovery. So let's try to visit the URL. That should be. Okay, as you can see. So let me scale it back up. Let's say to let me do the same thing. Sorry. Oops. Okay, sorry. The logs is out of date there. As you can see, round robin is going through the two instances. If you want to have an idea of what you are seeing in there, let's just do this. It's just a browse interface, there's nothing on the page, but it's basically serving. So it's pretty fun. You can have something like this. You can go as high as 20 if I want. It's already on a swarm cluster. And Everything just gets added dynamically and it's already part of the program. So if you check the logs again, you'll be sure that we have 20 instances in there. Well, this is still a work in progress and console and zookeeper is also supported. Thanks.